Hello friends, welcome to lecture number 27 that is PIP designer in Power Director. In this particular lecture we will learn what is PIP and how to create PIP objects, how to change object properties, how to add motion to the objects. So PIP stands for the picture in picture and uh, here in the Power Director I have already added one video in this track. So to open the PIP uh, designer what you have to do is you have to select the clip and then click on designer and then click on PIP designer then over there what you can do is that you can change the object position scale we have already seen how to change the position scale rotation opacity etc earlier so that thing you can do in pip designer the next thing that you can do is you can also do the update the or add the chroma key for example if you want to change the background of the video you can use that option we will be looking at that thing in the next lecture so i'm just skipping that now next thing that you can do is you can add the shadow to your clip for example let us resize this clip and move it over here in the center now uh, if you want to put the shadow you can click on this one and you can select the color of the shadow for example this one and as you can see the shadow has been displayed like that you can also change the opacity like that one and shadow direction can also be changed like that so that's how you can add the shadow for your clip the next thing that you can do is you can add the reflection so if you click on that you can see that reflection has been added so if you move this clip upside you will see that this reflection has been added and you can also change the reflection opacity and other settings can also be done like distance the next thing that you can do is you can add the border to your video if you see, click on this border you can change the size like this you can also blur the border like this one you can change the opacity if you want then uh, you can also change the color of the border like you can select uniform color or two color gradient four color gradient like this and you can select the colors for each border like this like that you can change the border color as well the next thing that you can do is flip your video and you can also do some 3d settings if you want then you can do the face like enable fade in and fade out so you can see that this video has been faded in So that's how you can enable the fade in and fade out for that object. Now next thing that you can do is you can see that this uh, menus are disabled because we are in the play mode. So if you want, if you stop that then you, these options will be enabled once again. So now you can change the settings. So all these settings are available in the properties tab now. If you go to motion over there you can change the motion of the video or you can also add the rotation for your video. So first of all let us look at path and uh, over there let us say you want to move your video in this direction or upside direction then if you preview this you will see that your video is moving in upside direction So you can notice that this uh, video is being moved up in upside direction so that is how you can add the various paths there are a lot of paths or uh, you can see the, on the left hand side and you can also add your custom path as well if you would like
so one of the effect is really interesting this one so in this what happens is that you can observe that now So like that you can add different different motions as well now next thing that you can do is you can i'm just going to remove the motion so go to the path by clicking on this cross button next thing that you can do over here is you can update the rotation settings like if you want to rotate your video then you can give the motion like this and you can also give the direction like rotate clockwise or counterclockwise and then if you preview this one so the effect is still showing there I'm just gonna remove the reflection then cross and then let us do the rotation now preview this one So maybe the position is not correct. So let us change the position. You can notice that this position is not correct for our video. So just drag it here. And now I'm gonna go to motion. The setting is already there. Now let us run this. As you can see, the entire clip is being rotated slowly, slowly. So that is how you can uh, like add the rotation settings for your video and you can also add the motion blur as well. So this is all about the PB Designer in Power Director. I hope you enjoyed this lecture and stay tuned for more lectures on Power Director.